We are learning new details tonight after three people were killed in a shooting in Colleton County. It happened on Low Country Highway in the town of Ruffin. A boy and two adults were killed. A nine year old girl is still in the hospital with a gunshot wound. News 2's Travis Rice has the latest from Colleton County. Good evening. Neighbors here are still reeling after a 13 year old boy, his mother and father were gunned down. One neighbor says they heard 10 shots in yesterday's violence. The town of Ruffin is moving on, but there are still signs that something awful happened here. At the house where three people were shot and killed, remnants of crime tape and investigators' gloves scattered throughout the front yard. Authorities identifying the victims Wednesday, 46-year-old Philip Miller, his wife Lori Miller, and their 13-year-old son Vincent Miller, known as Vinny to neighbors. We heard the last two shots and we came out to see what was going on. Ken Hendricks didn't know the parents, but says the kids were known to the neighborhood. He had lost his dog and come on down the street and me and several other neighbors caught the dog for him, helped him. Very pleasant young boy. We saw the girl playing with the doll on the, on the steps of the house. He says a lot of folks are hurting from the fact that someone pulled the trigger on children. As neighbors and friends, we've all been talking about it and everything, and everybody's just devastated over it because the two children were precious, and now they're going, or at least the boy is, and the girl's fighting for her life. For those that live on this stretch of highway, they say they plan on honoring the boy who never got to grow up. If they do hold a funeral, we're, a bunch of us are going to go to the little boy's funeral. But other than that, it's going to take time to heal this. Colleton County Sheriff's Office says that they found narcotics in the home last night and that the murders may be drug-related. In Colleton County, Travis Rice, News 2.